Hi, I'm Brent. Today we've got a really handy update to show you what goes inside an engine of a um, 300 or over 300 kilowatt engine typically these days when you're dealing with either the 2.5 or in fact the 2 litre Subaru Boxer engines and sitting beside me is an engine that we're doing a freshen up for a customer that we built quite a few years ago and um, this engine was built um, for regular use on a track car but the guy um, wanted some pretty good solid power so sitting behind me are uh, some Cosworth complete head assemblies and you also see the um, head gasket with the modified um, bolt holes for the studs for the larger 14mm head studs and just a couple of other small things like a lightweight GFB uh, pulley kit. So what I want to show you is just what to look. Everybody asks about what it is when you close deck a block and what it should look like. So you can see in the machining surface here how there's a different coloured aluminium here to here. Well, the original part of the Subaru block is this part here and around the outside. And this part inside here is the water galleries. But what happens when you start putting a lot of grunt through these engines, the material here flexes in and out because it's only supported there, there, in between the two cylinders here and over here. Whereas in the old days, you could actually buy some of the very early model 2 litre engines which were cast by Subaru as a closed deck block and they had a lot more material in here which is obviously the face of the surface because what you got to remember is this is the top of the piston that's the top of the head obviously the other side is underneath down there sorry not top of the head top of the block and then the head goes on top of that with the gasket in between so when you got a lot of boost and a lot of load and the combustion chamber is firing inside here all of this is moving in and out and the movement of this cylinder wall here eventually frets on the um, gasket and eventually blows a head gasket because it's got excessive movement. So how do you solve that? Well, you do a aftermarket closed decking of the block, um, which then is typically optional with larger heavy duty um, head studs. So in the case of this, we're using the 14mm ones, which are a lot bigger than the original factory ones, which will require some fairly extensive modification of the block to put, fit this larger stud that goes right down inside the block and you can see here, compared to the original factory ones, um, or an aftermarket one, which you can get similar in design, um, effectively giving you a lot more strength when you're winding the nuts down to hold the head back on the block. So the other important thing, which a lot of people forget about, um, is when you're closed decking it, there is one area that you can't completely seal off, and these are the two areas here, and you see there's a bit of a gap there, and these ones are actually got a little thread inside them which are designed to be able to be pulled out because there's two on this side and four on the other side and that allows you to get down in between the two block halves to the, the nuts and bolts that effectively hold the two halves together around the side of the crankshaft because these are the two components that you need to be able to get to down inside the water gallery to actually pull the two components apart when you're completely dismantling the block. Because of course, in the future, this engine will need um, to be able to be serviced possibly if the customer wants to do some more freshens up you know two four six years time down the track so there you have it if you're looking for some technical information on what is the difference between an open deck block and a closed deck block or an aftermarket closed deck block you now know what to look for i'll take some close-up photos of these components so it's a lot easier for you to see and um, these are the things that you may want to consider when you're doing your big horsepower upgrade in the future with your subaru whether it's a two liter or a 2.5 um, well, I'll show you some other photos of this engine on a video shortly when we start putting it all back together. But it's a pretty quick car, this one, and we're pretty proud of the results that it's achieved. But for more information, no matter where you are in the world, follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Have a look at our new website. There's a whole new list there of handy links. Um, but for the moment, I'm Brett Middleton. Thanks for watching.